As you can see, our website is fully loaded and it contains all of the important parts that we have created. Now, all I have to do to add the service list to my Wix website is to go over right there, the left side panel. Right here, this bar or this panel contains some different navigation, also elements to add in our website. For example, we have the elements, we have the sections, we have the pages and menus, and the side designs from the color palettes and etc. I'm going to click on add elements. And right there, it will pop up a big menu. This menu is going to let you right there add whatever you want to your website from text, images, and etc. Now, let's go ahead and add our service list. How we can do that? Here, we are going to drop down and select the list. Click on list. And now we are going to see the different lists and repeaters, hover repeaters, blank repeaters, tables, and etc. These are considered for lists. But if you are going to set the service list for a specific one, we are going to head over bookings. And on the bookings, we're going to see right there on the booking element, a service list. So right there, we have different type of service lists. So you can go ahead and select whatever you want from them and you are going to customize them. Before I add one of them, I'm going to create a space or a blank section to let everything organized. So I'm going to click on add section, go ahead and create a blank section. And that specific section, we're going to change the background of it. Click on color and change background. Choose whatever convenient color for you. For example, in my case, I use the gray, the black, and also the yellow. I'm going to use the yellow color. You can put a gradient for, for, for the reason for the sake of the aesthetics, or you can add a fluid gradient. I'm going only to use the standard yellow. You can add a image instead or a video background. Now, let's go ahead and make an extension for this specific case or this section. I'm going to let it right there as the third right there compartment. Go back to the elements, let the booking be and service list. I'm going to choose the first one and see whatever it will give me. Here we have the service list. You can manage the services by clicking on the, the, the listing itself like that and click on manage and it will open up the dashboard. You can add the services, make the price for them and also everything from the images, descriptions, titles, and etc. Here we have the categories or the services. If you want to add a service, click on add a new service from this one. You can go ahead to this specific dashboard on the catalog into your Wix website dashboard. It is specific for each website. Go ahead like that onto catalog, and then you are going to the booking services. Here we have the same right there window. Go ahead and add the service. For example, if you want to add, let's say here, uh, an appointment or a type of service, here we have some templates. Also, we have a lot of templates, and if you want to go from scratch, Go ahead and click on start from scratch. You can also edit any of these services right there. Set, for example, the name, tagline, description, duration, the price and payment, how you can go to be paid, and the location of it, the staff, and etc. Assign all of these tasks and you will be good to go. Right there, you can click on settings and see the widget settings. Right here, we have the manage of the settings or the widget. You can manage services and put the right booking. You can modify the layout, for example, like that. Here we have multiple layouts. You can set the display, show the title of the services, show tabs on services lists. You can modify the text right there on each of the labels. And also you can modify the design from the background dividers, text style, and also the button design. Go ahead and change the color of the buttons. The opacity of the color, also the font and the colors. You can also right there add a service from this specific area. You can go ahead and click on settings and then it will show up the services. Add a new service and you are going to add a instant new service. 
go ahead and set it like that. I will let you see right there the different compartment or the different list that we can add to this specific area. So I'm going to I click on add element, go to the bookings again, service list, and here we have a list. So I'm going to use the second one because it has a lot of compartment for the images. Here we have it a little bit different. Go ahead right there and modify whatever you want from it. For example, you can go ahead and make the section a little bit right there bigger to cover all of the component that has been stored in this widget. I'm going to delete that. This first one, I'm going to add another one. So bookings again service list and we are going to add this one maybe this is specific for this uh, theme and every widget is customizable you can go ahead and set the layout for example or the design of it for example for the color and the background i'm going to move it to something like that and here we have the services i'm going to set it like something like this or maybe like that so we are going to set whatever you want right here everything is fully customizable and boom everything is set if you want to modify any text right there you are going to set the service itself for example you click on manage services and you are going to see all of the available services that you have on your right there site i'm going to set for example this new carrier intake call Click on it. I'm going to change that specific name to trucking service like that. And for the image, I'm going to edit that image. I can go ahead and change that image right there. I can go ahead and remove it and add another image. Go ahead and choose whatever image that you want from there. I'm going to choose this one, maybe add it to the page. And here we have it. You can edit that image, crop it, resize it and adjust it it is up to you and your taste for example i'm going to let this specific part appear go ahead and click on save and here we have the correct format for each one of the images wait for a few seconds and it will actualize or refresh on the page of the website you can go ahead and modify the tagline description and put a plan for example of a membership for the payment go ahead and select and assign your staff Click on save and we're going to see here the service is saved. I'm going to remove that. Then we are going to actualize or refresh the page and we are going to wait for seconds. Here we have the image changed and also the title. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.